All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Real Talk with Nick. It's your man Mel, barbershop at Levels. All right. Right here in Harlem. On Real Talk with Nick, man. Yes, yes. Are you a Nick fan, brother? Yes, yes. Okay. Have you been watching the New York Knicks this season? Yeah, I followed the season. Absolutely. All right. And who you like as far as what you've seen with the Knicks? You know what's crazy, and of course it happened. My man D Rose, of course, was holding it down. And uh, what's my young man name? Young man. Oh, the man, you quickly? Nah, quickly was doing shit. Definitely, but nah, young lights can do. Tall dude, young dude. Play for the Knicks? Yeah. Uh, you got nah, Quentin nah. Grimes, Jericho Sims. You got uh, I don't know, but we'll get to that, bro. Yeah. But he me, was holding it down, but quickly was holding it down too. But it's other dude, I can't think of his name. Speaking of quickly, let's jump right into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some say quickly could be the point guard that the Knicks is desperately looking for. Everybody talking that the Knicks need a point guard, but there's some people saying that you might have that in a man you quickly, yeah, like he's yeah, yeah, showing yeah, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. flashes of that. Would you agree or disagree? I can agree with that. You can, can agree, agree with, with that because definitely throughout the whole series, all the way up to the end, he was like one of the main dudes that was like, "Yo." Quickly this, quickly that, quickly, quickly, quickly. Like, my man was all over the court. He was definitely, he had an impact on the on the game every time. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely, I, I got to give him respect. You got to give him that. Yeah, yeah. Now, what do you say about the talk between Julius Randle, man? You think they should resign this man? And some say his head is not in the game. We ain't got the same Randle we got last year. Like, like. We did not get the same Randle. I haven't lost faith in him yet. He has to get his mind right, but he definitely bummed it up a little bit. I gotta, I gotta be honest. And I was expecting a lot more because last year, like I was like, all right, Randall, like I was expecting a top tier player, and like he was like fumbling a lot of time. Do you think he's the superstar? Some thought he would he would be because some and say I think he that's what it was. He was maybe carrying on himself as he was supposed to be, but you wasn't producing the results. And you can be that superstar. Or do you really think I he think can? I think he can be if he actually fucking puts his hand into the game. I don't know what he be thinking when he's on the on the court. Like again, from last year to this year, two different players. It was two different players, and like a lot of times it was. That's the frustration is you're expecting that of him, and it's like, right? Where, where was it? You supposed to be that, right? So, I think he give him give him another chance. See how he how he gonna turn up for this for for training now. Did it put a sour taste in your mouth when he was putting the middle fingers up to the New York fans, like thumbs down? Like, forgive oh, Nick. He yeah, put the thumbs down, not the fingers yeah, up. But that, that's 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 why. That's why. That's why. Uh, but that's emotion and. Uh, you expect that. You expect that. Especially when you're losing it and everybody's like mad at you. But like, you're supposed to be the superstar. That's how you're supposed to chin up. People won't be mad at you if you didn't produce. Right. That's your fault. If you're supposed to be the superstar, bro, act like it. Take responsibility. Okay. Now, talk to me about RJ. Your boy RJ Barrett, man. That's who I was talking about. RJ. RJ, talk to me. Between him and Quickly, those was the ones that was holding him down. Those two. Barrett and Quickly. Yeah? Yeah. Barrett was holding him down. He, he so, still told a lot. He did a lot of plays that I was so very impressed. So you would say that Andre Barry game is progressing since he became a rookie? You see progression in, in, in Barrett? I was impressed. He was impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, again, like... It was a different Knicks team, but I, I was I was going for yeah yeah I, I was I was impressed. I don't know how else to say it. I was impressed. I was okay, like, now I, what? but quickly, Barry, if we had a little bit more, if we had a little bit more from Randall, that might have been it. That might have been a main playoffs right there. So you saying Julius Randall kept the Knicks out the playoffs? You think? Being that he ain't stuck. I don't want to put it on him, but if he produced better, they would have been there. They would have, that would have been the difference right there. You don't think it had nothing to do with the coach, Tom Dibodeau, who, by the way, I think is a great coach, but I think he put too much emphasis on the vets. 
and not giving the rookie a chance to shine. Mm. So I, I'm just saying, do we put all the blame on Julius Randle, or is it possible that the coach could shit some type? Damn, that's a touchy subject. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, that was a lot of questions about the coach and like, and he did great, but it was too much emphasis. It was too much leaning on one side. It's supposed to spread. If the vets ain't doing it, let let's see what the rookies can do. You know, give him a chance. Get get, get on a little breather and see see if he could pick up the game. If he could pick up the slack, more in Nick his favor. That's a uh, yeah. Somebody has to be able to be in your ear as well. As a head coach, you got to have an assistant staff or like your, your coaching staff has to be yeah. able to be in your ear like yo. We got to yeah. switch up. And that might have been that. I'm not saying for sure, but that might have been one of the he was a hearing that was just going with what he felt was right. All right. And you know, not not being a bad coach, you know, you could kind of lean on your own intuition a little bit. Like, yeah. You know, you got a team for a reason. Yeah. Like, now, now, I know you said you was a Nick fan, yeah. but I also know that you like these Brooklyn Nets, man. You know that. So the part of you that went for the Nets, the shameful side of you, like going for them bum ass Nets, man. How did it feel to see your boys get swept, man? Listen, another disappointment. Uh, New York as a whole, we, we took an L. And I feel like we had teams that could have went at least to the semis. Like, yeah. damn, like, yeah. it's another when you got a leader on the court that ain't producing, you're gonna get this result. And Kyrie held it down, Patty Mills held it down, uh, Blake held it down. Like, it, you notice there's one person I ain't saying held it down yet. KD. It's safe to say that KD ain't the, the man that you thought he was, man. It's safe to say that. Look at the camera and say, KD, Listen, you I'm ain't like, the man I thought you was, man. Oh, Come on, what's the yeah. excuse, baby? I wish we could find one. I wish we could find one. What? What? Damn. With that being said, we out. Peace.